Hello, it's Ezzy the Tactical Gamer here. Uh, there's been a lot of things about Black Ops 2. Gamescom was just on in Cologne in Germany, and that was a conference all about Black Ops 2. No, it wasn't all about Black Ops 2, but that's the only thing I really cared about. Um, they showed a lot of gameplay, they showed a lot of multiplayer there, so I just want to talk about it today and give you my first impressions of the game. Uh, just knife a pole here, just because it was in my way. Um, here in the background, you're going to see um, not Black Ops 2, um, but my own Modern Warfare 3 um, gameplay. It's where I get a Moab. I wasn't actually trying to get a Moab, actually. You see that my gun doesn't even have attachments. I wasn't even prepared for it, but I got a Moab, so there you go. Um, anyway, I want to give you a few observations of Black Ops 2 core combat mechanics, because that's the thing I really, really want to care about, because that's what's going to influence uh, how I change up my tactics. Um, each Call of Duty uh, has only little or small differences um, that you'll see, but each one has differences big enough that it does change your tactics, it does change the way you play. So I just want to talk about those core combat mechanics that will change. Um, yeah, that's a nice Bouncing Betty right there. Bouncing Betty kill, yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about graphical things or single player or zombies, although I'm really looking forward to eight player zombies, but we'll get straight into core combat mechanics. Um, and then I'm going to tell you about my loadout, my preference for what I want to do the new pick 10 creative class. Now, if you don't know, creative class has changed now that you don't have to just um, pick the things they want, like three perks, and you have a primary, you have, can have a secondary. Now, you can have just ten slots to fill, so if you don't want a secondary, you don't have to have it. If you want two of the green perks, you can have that. So I'm going to talk about what my loadout will be in the new Pick 10 Create class, after I talk about those mechanics. Well, first of all, the maps. They ma the maps seem to be smaller, yet more diverse in how it looks. It's, it's not just um, you know, you, you walk one way, there's three ways to get through that way. It seems like there's a lot of levels to it, a lot of layers. Um, there's longer sight lines though, even though it's smaller. So I feel like it, it means that that's going to favour a long range kind of play. Um, so assault rifles you're going to see quite a lot. Um, SMGs will still be very, very prominent because you want to be able to flank people. But I feel like what dominates, from what I can see at least, are going to be the assault rifles. Uh, maybe not the sniper rifles, I'm not sure, but I think assault rifles are the thing here. Okay, finally, this is an objective-based game. Uh, Call of Duty has always been known to be about kill-death ratios. No longer. Uh, kill-death ratios are still fun, but I think what's really, really going to be um, great to see is that people will actually play the objective. Um, if you know me and how I play, I love to play the objective. I don't like just sitting back and getting my kills. That's not satisfying. That's just not fun. I like to contribute to the team. So finally, we're going to have objective um, play. So that means a lot of things to our loadout. It means that we actually have to um, have things that are actually useful to the whole team because that will end up helping with our score streaks as well. So no longer kill streaks, but score streaks. We'll talk about that a little later. And of course, the create class pick 10, um, there will be more diversity. That That's probably um, one of the biggest changes that because um, people aren't restricted to just this this perfect class, this awesome class that everyone uses, you know, with their ghost, quick draw, that kind of thing, that because there'll be more diversity, we're going to have to change up our play a bit. Okay, so what is my loadout in the new Pick 10 creator class? Well, it's this. I'll put it up on the screen. But my philosophy is that um, the infantryman uh, must have a good weapon. He just has to have a good weapon he can trust in. You know, if you've ever read the Rifleman's Creed, uh, the one that some military uh, arms use, uh, they love their rifle. It's the most important thing to them. Without the rifle, they're nothing. So my philosophy is, rifle comes first. You must have a good rifle. So I've picked the M8A1. Uh, the M8A1 seems to be the one that all the pros have been using as an assault rifle. It's a burst fire um, uh, weapon, but it actually fires four bullets instead of just the normal three that we've seen from M60A4 and Type 95 and all those previous Call of Duties. It fires four bullets at once, but if you use a select fire attachment, you can turn that into an auto weapon. 
So I'm not quite sure what I want to use. I think I'll probably try to train up a burst fire because that's just going to be more powerful. But maybe a select fire attachment in there. Other attachments, quick draw is just going to be a must. Quick draw, uh, all if it's all about gunplay, then it's all about who can pull out their gun fastest um, in the times that matter. So quick draw will reduce the time that takes the um, ADS to aim down sight. So that's a must. And I also like a, a optic because um, M8A1, I've seen that the iron sights aren't that great, so I want to have an optic. I'll probably choose the hybrid optic. The hybrid optic is a reflex sight on top of an ACOG. So um, I've seen that uh, in this game, you can actually switch between the each optic very quickly. You know, in the previous games, uh, when you switch them, the guy has to, you know, pull out his right arm, you know, twitch this little knob, and then it kind of switches the view. But in this one, you know, it just he quickly glances up at the the, the next optic, which is actually how you would do it in real life. So that's great. I, I want to be able to use that so that I, I'm good at all ranges. You know, I have the reflex sight for the the short distance engagements, um, so that I can dominate those ones. But then when I see that someone's quite far away and I need some help, uh, my eyesight's not that great, but that's another story. Um, I need some help, I'm going to just use the ACOG sight and switch on quickly. So M8A1, it's going to be dominating in long range combat with a hybrid optic, quick draw, and I'm not sure, a select fire or, or laser sight. Now, the laser sight increases your um, your hip fire accuracy, it tightens that box so that, you know, maybe um, because I'm using burst fire I might need a laser sight um, just to help me to um, get those really really close engagements. I usually use a suppressor. I've always used a suppressor in these games, um, except this game because I wasn't ready for it. I don't even have a suppressor um, ready to equip in this game. But um, I feel like you don't need a suppressor in this match uh, because there are so many layers yet they're quite long sight lines. So you do want people coming to you. You do want to draw fire unless you're a flanker. Um, see, my play style has always been a, a support or a support or not not quite a defensive player, but a support slayer kind of character. I, I always go for the objective, and I like to stay a bit behind. And when I've eliminated everyone, I try to um, you know hang back a bit more, uh, and then go for the objective, go for the flag. Uh, so that's the primary I've picked. The perks I've gone with are ghost, ghost just because that's just really good for flanking. Scavenger because I want to have um, ammo in my um, weapon. Dead silence because I've got Astro uh, headsets and it sounds like the game sound is going to be a lot better in this one. Uh, frag grenade because I've got scavenger so I can just chuck those out as much as possible. Frag grenade instead of Semtex because that's longer range and shock charge just because I like to know what's happening. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.